for myself in getting saved at 14, looking back now and seeing who God has made me. One thing that I saw that was lacking was accountability. I was running rampant on the streets and heavy drug use. And then one day I was at my wit's end and I confessed I am a sinner and I thank Jesus for dying on the cross for me. Once I received him, I started trying to quit. The Lord um, told me you're gonna have to go to jail in order to stop. And that same day, an hour later, I got arrested. Somehow, by divine appointment, Ruthie came into my life. And we talked, and, and then she started to call me every week. She was facing five years in jail. I actually went to the court that day, and um, it was, you know, rather interesting because the judge is like in awe of her rap sheet, you know, it was so long, and they're saying things about her, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like, who is this, <laughs> you know? But the woman that I saw wasn't that woman they were talking about. The Lord was showing me who she would be, and that's what made it all right in the midst of being there in court. The judge asked her, like, you know, how are you gonna, how can you help her? Do you have, do you have a degree? And she was like, I believe that the Bible is the Word of God, and what she needs is an accountability partner. That was the question, what's she gonna do when she gets out? I said, oh yeah, like, I'll take her, you know? <laughs> and so, she's been with me ever since. From the minute I got out, and um, she just sacrificed so much, picking me up, dropping me off, calling me to use my time wisely. <laughs> More than me teaching, I ask a lot of questions. Are you getting with the Lord daily? every little aspect of their life. When I know I'm gonna have somebody asking me, what'd you learn from him? You know, it's different than just saying, oh yeah, I read my Bible. To actually have a living relationship with the Word and get to know him personally and intimately. And to show people that are living in the same darkness that I was living in, that he's the hope. She's a real blessing in my life. Really involved there in the youth house. You know, she watched me do it for a little while and then, um, like pretty much, I, she's taken over. I was scared and the Lord showed me in a devotional, the eagle, how they push the babies out of the nest and that's what they have to do. I will come alongside you. But you know, just like in the gym, that personal trainer will push you seemingly to the limit. If you can um, endure, you will be strengthened. And that's my heart for them.